First time using the GoPro to film one of these. We're going out here to the garage to check on what's been been left to just rot out here. Yeah. I want to talk about the state of the garage, the barn, the state of the barn. Because that's kind of like the setting for what I'm putting my YouTube channel together for. Like the, the, the barn is where the YouTube channel happens. The YouTube channel. I don't where my channel happens. It's, it's where I imagine I'm going to be constantly present in all of my videos. It's that's going to happen here. Um, I have ideas in the future to do a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff, but there's a lot that needs to happen here first. This place is a mess. And as, and as I do more stuff, it just stays a mess. It doesn't get cleaner. It doesn't get better. It just stays consistently messy in here. A lot of stuff I'm not using. A lot of stuff that I think I will use. I'm not saying this is a bunch of waste, but if it doesn't have a home, which none of it does, it feels like, if it doesn't have a home, well then it's, it's chaos in here. It, it is chaos in here. Every person has experienced what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about right now. You, you're like, do I put this away? Do I just do the thing that I need to do with it now? Or, you know, do I just walk away and go inside and like work on something I can do that will, will matter for today, will help today go better? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm unprepared. I'm very unprepared. I'm, I'm very jumping into this, diving into this, thinking it's fine. I'll figure it out as I go. Um, that's okay. It, I'm sure a lot of people do that. I think it may be more important to try to progress forward somehow, even if I'm not clear on what it is I'm, I need to do. I can see the road, like I know what I need to do. I need to clean this mess up. I need to organize this large space of, you know, that I have for all the stuff that I have. And you know what? There's one more thing. I don't even think I've shown this on YouTube yet. Aside from that wonderful shop I have that I need to work on so much, there's something else going on around here. Check out this door, by the way. Isn't that a cool door? It's my future office. It's where I'm going to work on all my YouTube videos. It's where I'm going to do regular work. It's where I'm going to watch the quail run through my yard in the evenings. These big, beautiful quail that are running to the anthill to eat all the ants before my dog realizes they're in the yard. And I can just have a kind of 360 awareness of what's going on. There's a lot, a lot to do. You know, there's, there's money that's keeping me from doing some of this. And then a lot of it is just time. I'm, I'm, I'm nobody special. I'm, what I have going on is no different than what everybody else, anybody else has got going on. Everyone wants to be doing something. Everyone needs to find the time to do it. And I'm fortunate enough that I'm here. I have a, I have a good start. But that's, that's the other thing about YouTube, right? You guys, if anyone watches this, if anyone bothers to watch this and they're like, dude, you know, get an organizer, get this organizer, get this workbench, employ this system of organization. You know, my uncle puts everything in little parts boxes and it's the best thing ever. Or part boxes are stupid because they take up desk space, you know. Get tool organizers and create a tool organizer caddy or something. Wow. I don't think this little camera can take in all this, but you can see like five mountain ranges away. It's crazy. Sometimes I'm like, I should just sit down on my porch and enjoy the view. How many people actually just do that? I'm, I'm sure a lot of you, but there's one more thing too. One more thing too. So last week, all this stuff I'm talking about, having to figure out like how to organize it, what to do with it, you know, just get to work pretty much. The view I get from my porch, you know, in a real way, that was all threatened last week. Huge fire. The biggest in California at the time. 
blew through the mountain neighborhoods and 50 plus thousand acres and threatened to burn all this stuff down. We had the police driving through the neighborhood telling us to get out, run for our lives, like the fire's coming to destroy your property. We, we, we just had enough time to hook up our 350 van to our RV trailer and get out of here. I'm so thankful we, we bought that thing used. We're like the fourth owners. It's, 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 uh, it's a good thing to have. I thought it was silly to get at the time, but I mean, we've lived in it for two months between homes. We have were able to stay in it when we ran from the fire. I'm glad we have it. But there was a real possibility I was going to lose all this stuff and start over. And I'm not, you know, and thousands of people have the same experience. I'm, no, I'm not special. I say that because, I mean, I don't want anyone feeling bad for me. What it makes you do is it makes you think. It's not quite like, you know, what do I want to do with my life? My life wasn't threatened. Everything that I was planning to do, the things that I had anticipated doing, uh, all the stuff that projects I was imagining, all of that was threatened. And you may ask me, do I really want to be doing this stuff? Yes, I do. I really do. I really do. Do I, you know, like... Do I want to start over? No. I wanted to come back to this. I, I as much as a mess of this is, I, I, I love this mess. I love that this mess is here and that it's it's inside of a barn. Guys, uh, the place I lived before, my shop was outside in a carport and like my tools were getting rusty <laughs> and I, I couldn't I couldn't I definitely couldn't find homes for anything and you know, just just to work on a my workbench. I had to take time off from work because I, I brought out my my saws and my miter saws and my table saw and you know and I have a lot of kids I can't just leave that stuff out and attend it I mean I can I, I trust my kids but as much as I trust them they're gonna get curious and things can happen you know this barn I can like work on a project you know kind of kind of stretch it out and not worry about someone wandering through and cutting their fingers off because it's inside a locked barn so yeah you know I'm I'm really happy to have all this stuff and, and blessed, you know, and um, definitely I'm going to say blessed. We'll get a handle on things and we'll, we'll make some good videos. That's the plan. Get a handle on things and make some good videos. I think that's it. I'm going to turn this thing off. Bye.